Hey God feelers, so here we are finally with the DIY toothpaste made out of free ingredients. And what we're gonna do in this video, before I come to this recipe that I wanted to share with you and that you requested so many times, thank you so much for it. We're gonna talk about the five most dangerous ingredients in toothpaste. Right now you can get your toothpaste out and check if this is in there, this is in there, or this is in there. Any of those are really toxic for the body and we're gonna go into that in a moment. I'm gonna share with you two board alternatives for toothpaste that I really like and that I tried out myself and that I also rec get recommend from my clients. And then in the third part, I'm gonna share with you my short and sweet toothpaste recipe that you can make at home with simple ingredients. So let's get started with the five ingredients you need to avoid in toothpaste and to look out for. Number one, not a surprise, is this artificial fluoride. We have fluoride in everything nowadays. There's air pollution, there's fluoride in it. We have the tap water often fluoridated, especially if you live in the US. Fluoride in toothpaste has been linked to headaches, to neurological pains. And the thing is, guys, did you know that there's actually no real proof that fluoride actually helps to rebuild your teeth enamel? I mean, this artificial fluoride. There's one thing that you can do if you really want to have your fluoride. You can eat sprouts. Sprouts like alfalfa sprouts, they contain natural fluorine, which your body can absorb and can help to rebuild your tooth enamel. But don't put this stuff that you get from these conventional toothpastes here in your mouth. Another thing is if you're constantly thirsty, you, you grab and you need to drink constantly. This can also be a sign for a high toxic load in your body. And fluoride, this artificial fluoride, is one of the best things if you want to absorb heavy metals easily, like for example, aluminum. The way this whole fluoride thing started is fluoride is a toxic waste byproduct by from a lot of heavy duty industries, for example, like producing aluminum, producing fertilizers, and then you have to get somewhere with this whole toxic waste. And one of the best things is to put it in tap water to found a study that proves that this improves the tooth enamel and overall health, which of course is not true. So avoid fluoride. Second one is artificial sweeteners. They can cross the blood brain barrier. Our body's not made for this. Things like aspartame, for example, definitely has to go. Number three is triclosan. Triclosan is an antibiotic basically that you put in your mouth. It can make your body resistant against antibiotics and it also is a hormone interrupter. Number four, sodium lauryl sulfate or SLS. It's a foaming agent that is often put in toothpaste. Why is this toxic is sodium lauryl sulfate interferes with your taste buds. That's why if you eat, if you brush your teeth and then afterwards you can't taste anything, very likely that there was sodium lauryl sulfate in this. Also, if you have canker sores often in your mouth, that can be caused by SLS or sodium lauryl sulfate. And last but not least, number five is propylene glycol, which is a mineral oil used in the industry of producing anti-freezing products and industrial paints. Nothing you want to put in your mouth. The five things you don't want to have in your toothpaste, fluoride, artificial sweeteners, triclosan, sodium lauryl sulfate, SLS, and propylene glycol. Now, two toothpastes I really love, I tested on myself, don't have any of these ingredients. Number one is Desert Essence, the tea tree oil. There, there are different flavors from that. I like the tea tree oil. This is a US brand that you can get in the US and I got it in Panama in the supermarket as well, in the organic store. Super refreshing in the mouth. I can taste something afterwards, but I also if I ate onions, for example, I have like a fresh taste um, after brushing. I actually recommend to get like two or three different types of toothpaste so you can rotate a little bit. And the second one I recommend is from Lucky Teeth, which comes in a container like this. And it's amazing. I got that actually recommended from clients who have kids, who have a family. Kids love this. It tastes amazing. It has like cinnamon bark in there, aloe vera, which is amazing for rebuilding your tooth enamel as well. Great brand. They also have mouthwash. I really like the taste of it. So make sure you try that out if you like. Now guys, without any further ado, let's go into my DIY toothpaste. I actually have two variations for you and each of them contains only three ingredients to make it really easy for you to source it and to mix it super fast. Let's go. What we're gonna need for both variations is coconut oil. This is an, a local one from Panama. They just pressed it, that's an amazing product. And then baking soda. I like to mix it in these kind of small things and then I put it in a little container. You can also produce more if you like. I kind of 
I find this is a great travel size and also great in the bathroom. So we're gonna start with the baking soda. I use one teaspoon of baking soda, then three teaspoons of coconut oil. Now, why are these ingredients amazing? These two already, they are the basic recipe. Coconut oil, antibacterial, antimicrobial, and it doesn't kill the good bacteria in your mouth. Yeah, it just kills pathogenic bacteria like strep, for example, streptococcus, which you don't want to have because they produce more acids. And then we have baking soda, which alkalines your mouth and is also very gentle, especially if you have sensitive teeth. Baking soda is awesome because it's not so strong and abrasive. So guys, this is how it looks, very unspectacular. And then for variation number one, we would use an organic peppermint oil or tea tree oil. Both antibacterial, gives your mouth a fresh taste. Be very gentle because they are concentrated. So two drops are enough. And then you just mix it in like that. It goes into your little container. Now here the coconut oil, because it's like 30 degree in here, is all liquid. But if you live in a northern country, you can now spatel this toothpaste into a container like this. I like that. Like here, put it in here. I would now put it in the fridge to hide. And then every morning I just have like a little spatula or the end of another spoon. Get it out, put it on the toothbrush. This is recipe number one. Alternative number two, if you, for example, you take homeopathic medicine or you, for one reason or whatever, you don't like the tea tree or the peppermint oil, that's okay, you don't need it. For this variation, we do exactly the same. We use one teaspoon of baking soda and three teaspoons of coconut oil, which we have already in here. And then, guys, this is gonna come as a surprise. We're gonna add cacao powder or cacao nips if they're really finely grinded. This guys, this is the alternative for fluoride. This actually works. There were studies, if you just Google that, you Google cacao powder instead of fluoride, something like that, you can find more and more studies coming up with this because cacao is extremely nutrient dense. Now, I don't recommend you to drink too much cacao because it still stimulates the adrenals, but put it in your toothpaste, it's amazing. And of course you have an amazing taste. Make sure it's organic because you don't want all the pesticides and the toxins in there because cacao is also heavily treated if it's not organic. And here I would also use like a flat teaspoon of cacao powder like this. Put in our mix and stir in. If the coconut oil in your country is hardened, then you want to warm it up. You just put the glass jar in warm water and then, you, then it gets liquid so you can actually mix it in. Oh guys, who, want, who doesn't want chocolate toothpaste, right? So this is it. If you're kind of on the sweeter side and you really think, oh my God, I have already chocolate toothpaste, I want it sweet, that's no problem. You can also add some organic stevia. I have this powder that I could add just as an inspiration. But just like that, the three ingredients works perfect. And then again, you fill it in here. I'm gonna do that for you now. Oh my God, look at this. Of course, if you want to produce more, you just have the ratio now. You have the ratio of one teaspoon, three teaspoons, one teaspoon, two drops of essential oil. So here we go. Okay, guys, so here it is, the DIY toothpaste. Depending on which recipe you use, it's either cacao or mint and tea tree. If you like this video, I'm grateful for If you give me some feedback, hit the like button. And now guys, before we end, I want to know from you question of the day. Do you have a special DIY toothpaste recipe that you like to share with us gut feelers? Really open to hear from you or your experience with toothpaste in general. Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you a beautiful day, especially with brushing your teeth today.